Hey there, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. These are going to be our daily readings for all zodiac signs for Thursday, March 4th. First up, Aries. At the heart of your reading, we have the Knight of Swords, charging ahead towards something based on a belief, an idea that's very important to you. You're quite certain of yourself. The challenge is the Page of Swords in reverse. Mm, there's a hesitancy from you to discuss what you're doing. Could be you don't want to have to explain yourself to anyone. You don't want to invite any unwelcome questions or criticisms. But you're avoiding communicating, particularly, I think, with one specific person. You don't want to talk about whatever it is you're working on. Your focus, we have justice in reverse. Righting a wrong. So yeah, you're armed with your own personal truth. The, the Knight of Swords is holding his sword of truth. And what you're fighting for is something that you feel is unfair. So you want, you want to bring balance or fairness to a situation. In the recent past, we have the world which tells me this is not a minor issue. It's something that you've been trying to bring closure to for a while, partly because you sense an opportunity to really get past it and be freed up for something bigger, better, more. Show me the energy of the environment. In the environment, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Hmm. This feels like someone who's half-heartedly investing in something, giving them giving themselves to um, a relationship, potentially. It's not clear if we're talking about relationship or work or otherwise yet. Knight of Cups Reverse tells me that it's just a half-hearted attempt to contribute. That's what's going on in your environment. It could be like someone you're in a relationship with. You can tell that they're not really invested in the relationship. Or your work situation. Your boss doesn't really take you seriously. You don't feel like the job is going anywhere. In the near future, we have the Hermit in reverse. I think whatever this is that you're, you're holding back from discussing with anyone else, you're gonna start discussing it more. You're keeping it private, keeping it to yourself, solitude, Hermit. And then that reversal is like connecting with others. Being willing to to talk about this thing that's very important to you. Show me surprise energy for Aries. Ten of Pentacles. Well, if you are fighting for something mon monetary wise, <laughs> money wise, monetary wise, um, I do see that lining up for you quite well. Um, Ten of Pentacles is also representative of uh, living the life that you want to live. So it's also coinciding with if your goal is I want to be able to do what I feel is right for myself. I do see that happening. Um, it's going to come as a surprise to you. So I think you might be fighting really hard, feeling like you're going against the grain. And... All of a sudden, things are going to start working out where you don't have to fight so hard. Your hopes and fears, we have the King of Wands reversed. That your power will be taken away, that you'll be subjugated to someone else's truth.
That's coming down more in the fear column than the hope column, I'm sensing. And then the end result, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Making incremental progress toward your long-term objective, represented by the Ten of Pentacles. So you're going to feel like you're making headway toward wrapping up what you wanted to wrap up. This is the, the new goal, the Ten of Pentacles that you're aiming to achieve, the life that you want, is what you're going to be building toward. So your path will be clear at the culmination of these experiences, and you'll feel like you're making headway, albeit likely incremental headway. Nevertheless, you will feel like you're making progress, like you're empowered to work toward the goal that you want. Let's get you some advice. How can Aries work with these energies for their highest and best good? Okay, those of you new to my channel, I use the Ace of Swords in the first position or one of the last two positions to represent a yes or no answer for you at home if you have a yes or no question in mind. So if you'd like to play the yes or no answer game, I'll give you a moment to come up with a question or if you already came into the reading with one, here we go in three, two, one. Your answer is no if you were playing that yes or no game at home. No worries if you're not. This also has a tarot interpretation. The Ace of Swords in reverse says, um, you may not be able to convince everyone of your truth. Just because you feel very connected to this and it resonates as your truth very strongly, enough so that you're willing to go to bat for what you believe in in this instance, to right or wrong or to make things more fair and more balanced, it doesn't mean that you're going to be able to convince everyone that your truth is the truth, nor is it necessarily. Everyone has their own truth, and this advice is to remember and respect that. Aries, I hope that helped. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you back tomorrow. Okay, next up, Taurus. What is going on with my Taurians? Part of your reading, we have the moon in reverse. This is some soul searching, some really deep evaluation of the motivation behind why you do the things that you do, trying to understand yourself better. The challenge is the king of wands. Mm. This king of wands can be stubborn, can be uh, insisting on having their own way all the time. And that might be connected to what you're trying to learn about yourself. Why do I need to have my own way? Why can I be inflexible sometimes? Perhaps. Because that's the, the energy of the King of, of Wands. King of Wands is at his best when he is the decider, when he's the one in control of every action that gets acted upon in his domain. So it's something having to do with power and control that you're evaluating about yourself. It could be, um, why do I align myself with people who challenge my authority and challenge my decisions, um, criticize my ability to exert power and control over my own life? It's something surrounding you and your connection to power and control and authority. Your focus, we have the King of Cups and the Fool. So I, I feel like you're trying to, through this self-exploration, tap into your softer side, tap into your emotional side, um, wanting to allow your heart to lead you It's also possible that you're wanting to have um, or take take a chance on a specific person. It could be a water sign. Perhaps um, going on a weekend away with them. And because you're both showing up peer to peer level, you're both king level. Now, gender doesn't matter in these readings. It's talking about um, 
archetypal energies here. I feel like that's part of what we're exploring is the balance between two people. One person whose challenge seems to be wanting to be in control of the situation, and another person who you love very much, who maybe has planned a weekend away or planned something romantic, and you're, you're trying to allow them to take the lead in the situation. In the recent past, we have the Ace of Wands. Inspiration in a new direction. I think that's what's leading you to this soul searching, wondering about doing things slightly differently or just approaching things in a way that you understand your motivation as you're doing it. The energy of the environment, we have a few. Nine of Swords reversed, releasing fears, doubts, and insecurities. Another king, King of Pentacles, about stabilizing um, your whole environment. Feeling like you're in control to a point where you don't have to worry so much about being uh, powerful in every minute of every day. Nine of Wands reversed is releasing, can be talking about releasing control. Five of Swords reversed is overcoming arguments or disagreements or anything that would lead to an argument, difference of opinion perhaps. Page of Swords. The overall energy for your environment is communication. So in order to enable clear communication, it's helpful if both people really understand themselves and their own motivation. That really opens the door to being able to describe your own personal experience to someone else and better chances that they'll understand where you're coming from. In the near future, we have the Three of Pentacles, which is collaboration, cooperation. Um, it's a, a very flowing energy between two or more people. In this context, I, I suspect that we're talking about a romantic relationship, but it could be any sort of power dynamic relationship. So it definitely could be work related. Um, what I see here in the near future is that each person feels like their contributions are valued and unique and necessary for the group dynamic to work. And they're allowed to give the full measure of their contribution, not held back. There's no, this isn't a hierarchy sort of arrangement. It's very much collaborative. Show me surprise energy for Taurus. Four of Swords. For those of you who are going to be trying some sort of new spiritual practice, meditation or yoga or some sort of energy healing, I think you're going to have a dramatically profound experience through that, uh, exploring that new practice. Uh, for some of you, it's acupuncture. They're giving me strong acupuncture vibe off of this. It'll be a positive experience, but it'll take you off guard. Like at first, it will be strange and unusual because you wouldn't have experienced something like this before. It might take you a minute to process what's going on, but it feels positive. It feels like you will, looking back on it, like just after completing, let's say, an acupuncture session, you'll, you know, uh, go out to your car, drive home, feel a little odd about the whole situation, like, whoa, what was that? I felt energy and that was something different. And then as you kind of ease into like evaluating what you've just been through, you'll, you'll want to do it again. You'll crave it again is the sense that I'm getting. Show me... Surprise energy, we have the, t the Ten of Swords and the Five of Cups. Interesting um, potential metaphor for acupuncture here. <laughs> um, 
it, it could bring up some uh, some painful memories to process. Um, whether it be it, now, this could be. It's going to be a different practice for each one of you, not necessarily ac acupuncture, um, because uh, I was also getting um, meditation, perhaps hypnosis. There's going to be something that comes to the surface to be dealt with, some, some repressed memory, perhaps traumatic, likely painful, but it's, it's coming through with the Ten of Swords, which means bringing it back up to the surface to deal with it once and for all so that you can incorporate that into your, your being and it won't be um, a rejected separate part of you anymore. It'll be integrated. And that's really tying into your whole soul searching approach. Wanting to understand yourself better, better and dig into those things that have been buried beneath the surface. Show me the end result for Taurus. Okay. The world, an end result in an end result. Um, so you you will be successful at bringing up some things for the purpose of gaining closure that you'll be able to really start fresh in an area of your life. I, it's going to feel like a weight has been lifted and you're going to approach life with a little bit of a different perspective moving forward. Some insights that you'll gain about yourself and some healing that you'll be able to accomplish by having evaluated these things that you've kept repressed. Let's get you some advice. How can Taurus work with these energies for their highest and best good? Mm. Face it. The devil energy coming up as advice is saying, face your inner demons. Face those things that you've been pushing down beneath the surface, the moon energy. You're already in that mode of opening up, um, like unlocking the vault to evaluate and see what's going on. Um, don't be afraid to face it. These are things when you look them in the eye, you see that you hold the power over them, not vice versa. Good luck with everything, Taurus, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey there, Gemini. Let's see what's going on with you today. What is going on with my Geminis? We have a few things going on with you today. Four of Wands. You might be experiencing some sort of event that you've been looking forward to for a while. King of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles reversed. Whatever this event or uh, Four of Wands can also be reaching a goal. Whatever this is, you're able to attain it because you've prioritized one thing over another. You've given up a measure of stability for a long-term objective. Because the King of Pentacles has everything that he needs and you're, you're deprioritizing having what you need in the moment for the Knight of Pentacles energy, which is potentially having the opportunity to build towards something even more. It would be like um, choosing a compensation plan at work where you could earn uh, a set salary every month, or you could have a lower set salary and be like, uh, commissioned on top of that. So then your earning potential would be much greater, but it would be a longer term, like building up over time sort of a scenario. Two of Pentacles reversed is having prioritized the one thing over the other. Incremental change over all at once success. 
What's the challenge here for my Geminis? More pentacles. Page of pentacles reversed. Um, that tells me that you feel inexperienced at this, the, the way that you've chosen. It's new to you. You're also kind of... Um, all things considered, you would have preferred to do some to make a choice where you weren't so fresh and new to the circumstances because I, I feel a bit of um, resistance to having to learn a new way of doing things could be like um, a new set of responsibilities at work, new paperwork, reporting to a new manager, taking over a new territory, these sorts of like um, a, a change that's like overall, you're happy with the choice, but that part of it. That part of it you don't prefer. Whatever aspect that you're you're kind of a newbie at. What are my Geminis focused on? Ten of Pentacles, the long-term objective. Perfect. I mean, that fits right in line with the way that I was seeing things. The, the Knight of Pentacles is willing to make incremental adjustments and build up toward a long-term future of abundance and success. So you have your eye on the prize here. You, you're definitely prioritizing your um, long-term prosperity here. It tells me you believe in yourself. You're confident that that you can achieve something over the long term. In the recent past, we have the Ace of Cups. This is representative of the new offer that you'd been considering, whatever you decided. Um, I think it represents the choice that you've made because it feels like you're moving in a new direction. So this offer came in, perhaps, um, okay team, we're going to give you the choice to change your income, uh, your, your compensation package to, you'd have to take a lower base salary, but the, the incentive would be on the back end like this. Oh, that's very intriguing. It tells me it's also likely not just about the money. I feel like you're also more emotionally engaged in what you're doing. It's a shift in um, enjoyment as well. The energy of the environment, we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting. So, also incorporated in the mix is de-emphasizing needing to collaborate with others, which tells me you're going to be able to work more independently in whatever it is you're choosing here. You don't have to wait for a, a, like a committee decision in order to do anything. You have more autonomy. Show me the near future for Gemini. Ten of Swords. They're still um, wrapping up and closure of the old um, pattern to be dealt with in the near future. You might make this choice and accept it on a trial basis. And then in the near future, you give the final go ahead that yes, I want to release the old thing. I'm ready to let go of it. I've, I've finalized my decision. Your surprise energy is the sun. That's expansion, um, feeling like the opportunities are limitless. It definitely coincides with what I was picking up on regarding this potential compensation issue of, you know, limitless earning potential. 
um, believing in yourself and being willing to build towards something that's far beyond what you could have achieved had you stayed with the old system. You're going to be very happy about this change. The sun is joy. It's feeling um, free and independent, which also agrees with the Three of Pentacles reversed, having more autonomy. Show me hopes and fears. King of Cups. Okay, a couple of things off of this. A, most of what I'm getting here is work or finance related. You do hope that you'll be able to enjoy your job more, enjoy the time that you spend working. Um, I feel like there's been, because this introduction of something new comes in as the Ace of Cups, that tells me that leading up until this point, you might have felt like your heart just wasn't in it that much. Um, like you're doing it for the money and you wish that you could enjoy it more. That's part of your hope here. But I'm also getting that part of your hope is that this is going to free you up to explore love outside of this work situation. Um, so it could, be, it could be something having to do with having a more flexible work schedule or changing your work schedule to open you up to be more available to dating or um, if you already have a romantic partner in your life that it may um, allow your schedule to coincide with them so you're you will be able to spend more time with them. Show me the end result for Gemini. Mm, more kings, king of swords in reverse. At the end of the day, you are going to listen to your own judgment, and I think the fact that the King of Swords is showing up reversed here tells me that you might be in a position where you feel like you have to block out other people's opinions. You may have people advising you or, or giving their strong suggestions as to how you should decide here. Um, the reversal is that sort of energy where the king just decides, no, I don't care what you're saying. I know what's right for me, period, end of story. This sort of like, I am cutting off the conversation. I'm, I'm making a unilateral decision based on my own thoughts and opinions, and I don't need to take the counsel of anyone else. Let's get you some advice. How can Gemini work with these energies for their highest and best good? Mm, justice. Spirit wants you to emphasize balance and fairness. We did see a potential issue of balance here between work and romance, or like your love life and your work life. Um, if you're aiming to achieve balance in that, that's a good thing. Spirit's uh, emphasizing that and encouraging you to keep doing that. If you might have the tendency to spend all your time working and not leave enough time open for the people that you love in your life, then that's um, asking you to bring more balance to the situation. It's also calling for fairness. Be fair to the other people in your situation. Um, that's a potential cause for concern here. I'm not sure exactly whose opinions are going to have to block out in order to do what you feel is right to you, but make sure that you handle things in a fair way. Gemini, that's what I have for you today. I'll see you back tomorrow. All right, Cancer, it's your turn. Let's see what's going on with Cancer today. At the heart of your reading, we have the Nine of Cups and the Six of Cups reversed. Hmm. Whatever you've been wishing for regarding an ex, looks like it's going to happen.
But this isn't some fantasy. The Six of Cups are reversed. So you're looking at the situation realistically. It's like a, a pragmatic, realistic wish that's coming true. The challenge is the Three of Pentacles reversed. You guys might not see eye to eye on something or... Mm, I'm actually getting that there's just, um, you have dramatically different interests. Like one person might love the outdoors and want to go hiking and camping, and the other person prefers, you know, cozy, um, staying at home, <laughs> not being outdoorsy. I don't know. <laughs> Your focus is on the Ten of Cups reversed. So... You want your own personal wish. You're not yet convinced that it includes this other person because you add the Ace of Cups to the mix, you get the 10 and that upsets the balance. In the recent past, we have the devil. So yeah, we're talking about mm, a problematic relationship. There were definitely some toxic elements to it, possibly codependency with this Three of Pentacles being reversed. Your wish might have been to release yourself from this relationship or like get them to stop coming around, stop giving you um, their advice or opinions about your life. Three of Pentacles can be, uh, especially when reversed, can be unsolicited advice or opinions, unsolicited input. The energy of the environment is the Three of Cups. Well, talking about relationships, that might mean that there are uh, more than just the two of you involved here, likely. Especially with the other three here, the Three of Pentacles. Um, but you're also focused on your own personal happiness, keeping things lighthearted, not trying to get too wrapped up in serious, deep emotions about this whole situation at the moment. In the near future, we have the Nine of Wands. Getting close to a conclusion here. Um, feeling like you're going to be able to wrap things up in some way. Give me more on the Nine of Wands. Page of Swords. There's a communication about putting something to rest. Ending something. Um... If you two have been talking about getting together, but one or both of you are seeing someone else, you might be discussing putting an end to those outside relationships. Um, there's some sort of conversation about something needs to come to an end, let's talk about it. Your surprise energy is the clarity that you'll be able to uh, gain through this experience, the Queen of Swords. It might have seemed on the surface like you're not getting the whole story, they're just information being withheld from you or um, like partial truths being offered. Queen of Swords sees the whole truth, even if it's not offered to her, her insight, like she can read between the lines. She can know, she can sense it, she knows. Show me hopes and fears for cancer. Six of Pentacles reversed. You're afraid to ask for what you need because you're not sure that you'll receive it and that puts you in a vulnerable position. You also don't want to be in, a, in an all give and no receive situation, possibly again, because the devil's showing up in the recent past, connected to the energy of this person or this situation that you're experiencing. The Six of Pentacles reverse tells me you're wondering, okay, am I going to give to this situation again only to be like left in the lurch?
The end result, we have the Page of Wands reversed and the Ace of Cups reversed, which tells me this is likely not going to end in a new start in love for you, but you're not going to want it. At the end of all this, Page of Wands reversed is like, you know what, I'm not that interested. It's not going to resonate with you. You're not going to want it. Just because someone extends their cup of love doesn't mean you have to accept it. And I don't see you accepting it here. Your advice, hold out for something that will build toward the life that you want. The Ace of Pentacles. Um, now... This doesn't necessarily represent money. It's not saying to prioritize money. Those of you who interpret tarot, um, it, it just means a, a practical um, opportunity that's tangible, that's not just about how I feel. The Ace of Cups can be lovely, flowery words. I feel, but I love you, I love you. Well, are you willing to contribute? Love is one thing in a relationship. Um, a, love and a relationship are different. There should be love in a relationship, but a relationship is also giving of yourself, giving of your time, giving of your attention. It's compromise. It's coming to the table and understanding what do you need from me and what do I need from you? And are we a fit for one, one another's needs? This is saying prioritize practicality and hold out for an opportunity that is going to be a seed that you can plant that will result in you ending up at the life that you want. Lovers reversed at the bottom of the deck, just underscoring that this particular person that you're dealing with is likely not the one to lead you to the life that you want. Cancer, I hope that helped. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you back tomorrow. Okay, let's see what's going on with my Leos. What is happening today? Ah, Eight of Swords at the heart of your reading. Hmm. You can't get something off of your mind. It keeps popping into your mind. You're not sure why. Could be a song. You're remembering something. The challenge is the, the Knight of Pentacles. You're just trying to focus on the task at hand and this memory keeps popping into your mind, distracting you. What is Leo focusing on? Knight of Cups reversed. Okay. So this memory that keeps popping into your mind is something um, sad or disappointing in love. Some memory about perhaps someone that reached out to you expressing love and you didn't want to talk to them, so you pushed them away, or vice versa. Someone that you wish you could reach out to, that your heart is lonely for, and you're remembering times with them. In the recent past, we have the Empress reversed. This is either representing the person that you're thinking of, feeling like they're far away and out of reach, or it's representing how you feel because of not having them in your life at the moment. Um, like you're not at your best, like you are uh, you feel better when they're around and they're not around. Like, they're the type of person that builds you up and makes you feel confident and um, just enjoys your company so much that you feel more alive and vibrant when they're around. The energy of the environment, we have the moon in reverse. These memories are coming up so that you realize a deeper truth about yourself and about the situation. Something that you've kept repressed and maybe not wanted to acknowledge about yourself, about the situation. Show me the near future for Leo. Ten of 
Ten of Wands. Interesting. And it's connected to the Ten of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck when that card came out. So we're talking about being able to complete something, a burden that you've been carrying that you maybe shouldn't be carrying anymore. Maybe it's past time that you you release this burden. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands. Nine of Wands, Page of Wands. Um, potentially sticking to a plan of action of not acting. Like, I'm not going to allow myself to act on what I want. Hmm. Ten of Wands means you're going to be ready to move on from something that isn't working for you anymore. So whatever realization you come to, and it's definitely surrounding this thing that keeps popping into your mind that you can't stop thinking about, even when you're trying to focus on your day-to-day -day responsibilities, um, it's so that you can process it and release it. Yeah, okay, here we have release. Your surprise energy, five of cups reversed and six of pentacles reversed. Um, processing the emotional loss about something that was imbalanced where someone was giving to the situation and, and, re and the other person was taking but not really giving back. There's some sort of imbalance. The lovers at the bottom of the deck, I feel like we are definitely talking about a love relationship here. It is possible that you're going to be releasing something that was holding you back from reconnecting with this person because there is the chance of this Knight of Pentacles in reverse being your repressed desire to reach out to them and tell, you, tell them how you feel. But before you can do that, you need to process this surprise energy of getting over something that you've been upset about, having to do with an imbalance of uh, someone giving too much, someone taking too much, and not giving enough. Your hopes and fears, we have the Ace of Swords. It's quite hopeful energy. I love seeing that in hopes and fears because that means what you really want is clarity. You really want to get to the truth. You don't want to keep wondering, okay, why am I thinking about this? You're thinking about it because you can't, at the moment, you don't fully understand it. You want clarity. You want to understand it. That's good, because I think that's what spirit wants for you. That's why it keeps coming to mind. Show me the end result. How do these energies resolve for Leo? Oh, look at you, Leo. Wow. Okay. King of Cups, King of Wands. What better combination for Leo in uh, making progress in their uh, the matters of the heart? We have you feeling powerful expressing how you feel and backed up by your own fiery fixed fire nature. You don't have to compromise who you are in order to give your heart to this person. So I do see you expressing your love, offering your love, offering your heart. Ten of Pentacles here again at the bottom of the deck. This is, you see a future. Whatever, whatever clarity and truth you arrive at, it's going to resonate with what you want in your heart in a way that enables you to act on it, to go after what you want and feel like the king goes for something he knows is his. So it will come with not just a wondering, all right, I'm going to put myself out there. This culmination will also have you feeling self-assured that they want you back. Your advice, 
we have the Hermit in Reverse. These energies at the start of your reading, the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Cups reversed, feel very isolated. They feel very what's going on in your own head, in your own private world. Hermit in Reverse is saying, open up that private world, poke a hole in the bubble, open up to others, open up to one specific person, I think, that you have in mind and on your heart. Um, don't don't stay isolated. Don't keep this all to yourself. It's the right time to reach out. Leo, I hope that helped. I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye. All right, Virgo, your turn. Let's see what's going on with my Virgos. At the heart of your reading, we have the Nine of Cups. Nothing less than a wish come true. That's starting off on a good foot. Something that you've been wanting falls in your lap. After a lot of hard work, the challenge is temperance and strength. Interesting. So being patient enough to allow this to unfold in its own timing, trusting that spirit's guiding the way and that this is for your own good. It's actually telling me that this wish might be showing up in a way that makes you feel vulnerable. That's interesting. Your focus is on vulnerability. King of Wands in reverse. Um, feeling like you're accustomed to having control in a certain situation, but in this particular situation, uh, you, you don't. Like, you're not the one in control. You're in uncharted territory. I'm not even certain if you recognize that this is a wish being granted just yet. That King of Wands energy can be very um, destabilizing because something could be unfolding that's going to be great for you, but because it feels so unfamiliar, so strange, like, oh, wh wh why can't I take charge of this situation like I normally do? Um, it, it can be a hurdle to overcome. In the recent past, we have the Ace of Swords reversed, a lack of clarity. Mm. And the Ten of Cups to clarify or add deeper meaning to the Ace of Swords reversed. So we, we might be talking about um, you've been manifesting something and here it shows up for you in an unfamiliar package and you're wondering, wait, is this what I wished for? Spirit with temperance is very much, yes, it is. However, it's something that's going to strengthen you, meaning it's showing up in a package that requires like internal work on your part. Show me the energy of the environment. How is spirit using Virgo's environment to nudge them in the right direction? Knight of Wands. Do you know what I feel like this is? You are used to being the one to go after what you want. And then in this instance, what you want is coming after you. This is either a job offer, like headhunters coming after you, like approaching you with new job opportunities, or if what you're trying to manifest is love, this is people approaching you. You might be the one who's accustomed to being on the offensive, so to speak, going on the offensive, like um, pursuing what you want. Because in your environment, here is someone charging toward what they want, and you are caught off guard like, wait, 
I'm usually the one that goes after what I want. In the near future, we have the, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Which tells me, I don't think you're going to adopt this whole situation right away. Um, you're not going to take hold of it and embrace it and decide to roll with it and, and interact with it. You're going to feel like you, like you need to feel it out. Um, Knight of Pentacles reversed is reevaluating the plan, reevaluating the path that they're on, taking a pause but before proceeding, because the Knight of Pentacles wants to make sure, like, that this is steady ground, that it's real, that it's practical, that it's still leading to where he wants to go. So I feel like you're going to take a pause. Show me surprise energy for Virgo devil in reverse you're going to take a pause to to see is this a problem is this a red flag is this something that's here to halt my progress um your surprise is no it's not it's your wish you, you're you're doing your due diligence to make sure whether this is something that you should avoid um is this something that's going to stand in my way and tear me down your surprise is that it's, if it's an obstacle at all, it's a surmountable obstacle. I feel like there may be some sort of hurdle to overcome. Because strength is here, it's going to require you to be in a vulnerable state so that you like dig deep and find the strength within yourself and become a stronger person through the experience. However, this is showing up in reverse, meaning you're expecting it to be a bigger problem than it's going to be, if a problem at all. The reversal might mean this this really isn't a problem. Show me... Like, there's there's no monster under, under the bed. You need to check. <laughs> you feel like, I'm going to check in the closet, I'm going to check under the bed, I'm going to check behind the curtains. Okay, there's no monster. Like, what's the catch? Your hopes and fears. Do we only have one that's... Yeah, one turned over. The star. Hope itself. You... Yeah. This involves a big aspiration of yours. You've been trying to get more clear about how to go about, um, how to go after it, how to manifest it. You're still not quite clear as to where you want to end up because it's such a big, like nebulous sort of dream. It can be just a dream like I want to be happy, and you know the whole uh, life journey is discovery of how how you want to be happy, and the evol uh, the evolution that you go through pursuing happiness. I feel like you you know how you want to feel. You know the the general sense that you're aiming for and the the immediate portion of that wish that's showing up in your lap right now. You're not quite recognizing it as aligning with your overall wish. It does. It does align. But it's it's part of a path that's requiring growth on your part. Show me the end result, justice, balance, equanimity. Um, this is karma being repaid. When we're talking about a wish being granted, that means you've put a lot of good energy out into the world and you're receiving your due here. You're receiving, receiving an experience that is exactly what you've earned out of all of the work you've put in thus far. If there's a specific outcome that you're seeking having to do with uh, like a legal decision or if, if you feel like something's unfair and you're seeking equanimity, a fairness, a fair ending, then justice def definitely represents that happening. 
show me advice for Virgo. How can Virgo work with these energies for their highest and best good? Seven of Wands. Once you decide on your path toward wish fulfillment, when you decide what you stand for and what you want, stand firm. Don't, uh, don't shy away from people who might detract from what you want or have a difference of opinion. When you have the high ground, when you have the moral authority in your own life, stand up for it. It's also saying um, establish strong personal boundaries and enforce them. When you know what you deserve in life, then act in accordance with that and don't allow anyone in your inner circle to treat you other otherwise out of accordance with your personal boundaries, your standards for yourself. Virgo, I hope that helped. I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye. Next up, Libra. Hey, Libra, how's it going? We're going to see what's going on with you guys today. At the heart of your reading, we have the Magician manifesting successfully. Yep, yeah. manifesting something successfully. Page of Wands reversed is the challenge. Um, hmm. Okay. Whatever it is you're working on manifesting, you, you aren't seeing the action necessary on your part at the moment. Page of Wands reversed is hesitant to take action, and that's the challenge. You may be skewing your manifestation towards something that would allow you to remain in a passive role. And what Spirit is trying to nudge you toward is like, yes, we want to manifest the desire of your heart here, but it is going to require you to take a more active role. Show me Libra's focus. Knight of Wands reversed, not having to take action. Strong desire in my heart. I, I really, really want something. I, I just don't want to be the one to go after it. Show me the recent past for Libra. King of Pentacles reversed. We're either talking about trying to manifest uh, something having to do with money, like trying to manifest a job where they'll be able to earn more money, um, or trying to manifest being out from someone else's financial control. You might be in a relationship where you are beholden to someone else because of their income, like you rely on someone else for money and you don't want to have to rely on them anymore. Because with the King of Pentacles is also the power that comes with having more money. So there's some sort of issue where you don't feel like you have enough money to have the power that you want or like the the autonomy that you want over your own life the energy of the environment we have the five of wands mm. spirit wants you to to be more active in the situation five of wands is saying yes it might be challenging but this is what spirit wants for you to get out there and join in the challenge it's like um it's like saying okay, I would like to win this soccer game. And Spirit's like, but you're not suited up. You're not on the field playing. You haven't even joined the team. It's like, get on the field and play and you can have your the manifestation of your heart. You need to like put yourself out there and join the competition. Show me the near future for Libra. Sorry for those of you outside of the U.S. who 
call soccer by its real name, football. In the near future, we have four of pentacles reversed. You're, you're going to let go of um, whatever, whatever safety, uh, safety zone you're clinging to, which I feel like is this, well, I'm, I believe in the power of manifestation so strongly that I think I won't have to take action, that I can just manifest harder and my, the desire of my heart will come all the way, all the way to me. Um, I think that that's what you're going to ease up on, holding on to that belief so tightly. Um, it also is describing a bit about why you want to be able to not take action and just have what you want arrive at your doorstep. Um, it can have to do with... Hmm. I don't want to have to leave one job to go out there and pursue another job because I'd lose my security. If you want to move to some... Uh, say, say you live in Colorado and you really want to move to Florida. Well, it, that would be like saying, okay, universe, um, I want to end up in my mailbox, two tickets to Florida and the moving company to show up unannounced. This is like, um, you need to start releasing things out of your life to make room for your manifestation. The thing that you want in your life will only appear after you've released the thing that is currently occupying that space. Your surprise energy, we have the Queen of Swords reversed, paired with the Knight of Swords. This is being able to charge ahead without having all of the information. It's having enough insight and knowledge and understanding to feel confident about going after something. So part of your hesitancy to take action could be, well, I just don't know how to go about doing this. You'll feel better about the fact that you don't know all of the details. Like, all right, well, I've read the instructions and I know that I can follow steps one through 10. I'm just not sure what comes next. It's saying, well, if you understand steps one through 10, then go ahead and charge after it. Like, go for that. Go, go to the level that you understand. Show me hopes and fears for Libra. Page of Swords reversed. Yeah, um, you don't want to have to ask questions. You don't want to be a beginner at something. Um... You don't want to be seen as less than expert, which is a another part of what's holding you back from just going for this. You feel like you're a beginner at it or like you'll have to ask too many questions. You don't want to put yourself in the position of being beholden to anyone else. And part of that is not knowing, not knowing all the answers. It's not knowing all the answers and being afraid to ask. Show me the end result for Libra. How do these energies resolve? Mm. Nine of Swords. Well... This has you end ending up feeling quite worried about things. Actually coming to terms with what it is that's on your mind. You're going to feel frustrated and you're going to feel worried. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords. Why does Libra end up feeling so worried? Five of Swords. Hermit reversed. Okay, so you're going to end up feeling worried because of either some internal mental struggle that you're having. You might be arguing 
inside your own mind, like, just do it. No, you shouldn't until you understand it better. Um, like, it could be like the, the differences of opinion within your own self, or it could be people in your environment that are telling you you shouldn't go after this thing. That could be another reason why you're holding yourself back. And this King of Pentacles reversed could represent someone else that has mm, financial control over your life that might be part of this Five of Swords disagreeing with what you're going for. And then the Hermit reversed is like, well, I'd really have to put myself out there, out of my own comfort zone. I'd have to let go of my comfort zone. And I'm not sure I want to do that. So it's not going to be an easy solution for you here. It is going to take some more thought, some more reflection, and working through whatever it is, the, those worries and concerns that rise to the surface to be dealt with. Your advice, Ten of Wands. We've been talking about wands throughout this as the thread that carries through your story, taking action toward what you want. The Ten of Wands says, when you start something, it's a commitment, it's an obligation, it's an opportunity to manifest what you want through taking action, but yes, it can be difficult. It can be burdensome. It can be uh, a commitment to a long-term obligation. But at the other end of that Ten of Wands is receiving the outcome that you've manifested. It's like it comes through your own sweat equity. So that's something to consider. If what you're trying to manifest is going to involve you committing to some work, some long-term effort that's going to be difficult, decide, is that really something that you want to commit to? Libra, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on with you guys. Spirit, what is going on with my Scorpios? At the heart of your reading, we have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. The lovers at the bottom of the deck tells me it's likely that we're talking about a relationship here and not specifically work. Page of Swords reversed, lack of communication, avoiding communication. I think we are talking about work, but only as through the lens of a relationship. I think there's a disagreement about either your job or their job and how it affects the relationship. You're focused on the magician energy, trying to manifest a specific outcome. You might be out of work and seeking a new job and you don't want to talk to your partner about it. Or uh, In the recent past, we have the King of Swords making a decision for your own um, purposes for your own reasons. Page of Swords reversed could be that you're trying to manifest a job and you might not be actually going out and submitting applications and reaching out to your contacts and trying to go about like the communication in the real three real world 3d sense that the page of swords would represent that energy is reversed and it's your challenge here like you you might be asking spirit to bring a job to you instead of going out and trying to get a job and i feel like that might be causing conflict within your relationship The energy of the environment, we have the moon in reverse. Spirit wants you to get in touch with a deeper part of yourself here. Something that is in your subconscious, maybe something that you've kept repressed. It has to do with getting in touch with what you really want from the situation. Because when you're manifesting, it's... um. We're manifesting all the time, each and every one of us. We're manifesting our environment. Usually we do it unconsciously. 
Spirit is saying they want you to manifest more consciously. Page of Swords reversed, you might not be asking Spirit for what you want. Yeah, in the near future, we have the star reversed. Which feels like a realization of, well, what am I aiming for? Like that question coming to mind, like, well, what do I really want from this situation? What is my dream? What is my aspiration? It's coming through as reversed, meaning you don't have it all figured out, but it has your attention. The topic is coming up. It might represent a change in what you're aspiring to achieve here. Your surprise energy, we have the Five of Pentacles. That's definitely change. Change in your financial situation, change in your home life, could be both. But it's leading toward the life that you want. So I don't feel anything scary connected to this Five of Pentacles. Um, those of you knowledgeable in tarot, this can sometimes represent um, being abandoned or uh, leaving unexpectedly. But in a broader sense, the fives always mean change, chaos being injected into a situation, and pentacles is money and or the home life. Since we're talking about manifesting a change in work... There's going to be some sort of unexpected change because it's coming through in your surprise position that is going to lead you to your Ten of Pentacles, prosperity, being able to build the life that you want. Your hopes and fears, we have the Ten of Swords, being able to release something that's been holding you back. Whatever this represents, the Page of Swords reverse, whatever you're, you're hesitant to talk about, whether this is sharing your aspirations or your, um, your thoughts and intentions about work with your partner, or, or it could be that you're not asking spirit for what you want. You're going to come to think of things in a different way. And at the end result, we have the Ace of Wands, which is taking hold of a new inspiration. The first wands that are showing up in your spread here. And it's, it's, exci it's an exciting energy. Everything else leading up to this is very um, conceptual, like thinking about things and trying to understand the deeper meanings. This is very taking action. It's like, okay, I know what I want. I'm lit up inside about it. I'm motivated to go out and achieve it. So it's an opportunity from the universe as well. Every ace is. That tells me you're going to center yourself on what you feel your aspiration is, what you're aiming toward. And it's connected to your manifestation. Whatever you're trying to bring in, this opportunity is going to rep represent uh, enabling you to move toward it. Your advice is the Queen of Cups. <sighs> Manifest from a place of love and what you want will come toward you. It's really as simple as that. That's, that's what they want me to say. Um, in, in this instance... You might be trying to manifest from an intellectual standpoint because we have the King of Swords leading into this and then the Page of Swords hovering over your work quandary, the Eight of Pentacles reversed. And Spirit really wants you to get into your feelings, dive deeper into your feelings as you're trying to manifest. Queen of Cups knows exactly how to manifest from the heart space. She is the queen of pulling toward her what she wants in her heart, the desire of her heart. And this is your advice. So 
try to manifest from a place of love. Um, Refocus yourself not on what you think, not on what is logical, what makes sense, but what lights you up inside. Like what's when you think about it, what makes you happy? Now it can be one and the same. You can be manifesting the same outcome, but the origin has to be um, more heart centered. So thinking about how you'll feel when it arrives, that sort of thing. Scorpio, I hope that helped. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you back tomorrow. All right, Sagittarius, your turn. Let's see what's going on here. Heart of your reading, we have Devil. The Devil card to start your reading. Some sort of self-limiting behavior or self-limiting belief, front and center. It's going to be something you're already aware of and contending with. I don't feel like this is shocking in your situation. We're describing something that's already happening in your life. Your challenge is the King of Cups. So we might be talking about a toxic relationship, giving of yourself too much in a relationship to someone who um, is bringing drama or mm, potentially you're you are in love with someone who is uh, going through experiencing some addiction. Or we might be talking about a codependent relationship. Your focus, we have death, five of wands, and nine of swords. Yeah, you, you're you really trying to find a way out of this. Um, it feels like a struggle. Like every day you wake up, you haven't gotten sleep. You've been up all night worried about this. Partly, you're up all night worried because you don't want to face another day of this. And you're just like in the midst of a major... Um, this death energy feels like you've really been going through it like a um, dark night of the soul you're just at the point when things are going to start leaving your life it feels a bit like a breaking point like you're reaching your breaking point which is just a way of saying you're reaching the point where you can't take it anymore and things are going to have to change. Or you won't want to put up with this anymore. In the recent past, we have the King of Swords. This feels like an ultimatum. An ultimatum surrounding uh, a goal of yours or some sort of stabilizing influence. That could have sounded something like, um, okay, if we're going to move in together, I need to know that you're done with this addiction, that you're not going to bring it into the household. Are you really done? It's that sort of like putting your foot down with wisdom behind it doing the the wisest thing for you and the way you see it for the situation the energy of the environment is the hanged man in reverse you feel stuck like there's no alternative you don't see a way out of this situation at the moment Spirit is giving you that energy reversed, meaning they want you to be able to free yourself from the feeling of being stuck, potentially by releasing yourself from this situation in some way. Show me the near future. Here you go. Here's release. Two of pentacles reversed. You're going to take stock of what is in your life, what's working and what's not, what's getting in the way and what's helpful. And you'll make that determination. The two of pentacles reversed is I'm going to release the things that are no longer serving me. I like that it's coming through as a choice and not as a tower. We'll see what else comes out. Because if you make the choice, it's going to be a lot less traumatic than if if divine intervention becomes necessary, so to speak. Show me surprise energy for Sagittarius. Three of Swords. 
Yeah. Leaving something that's not working for you anymore when there's love involved, it's going to hurt. I think it's going to hurt you more than you think because it staying has been hurting you. It looks like leaving might be the solution. However, leaving is also going to hurt and that might come a bit unexpectedly. Ace of Cups reversed is uh, the lack of a new start in love. So there may be talks or an offer of, yeah, I think your person is going to try and make amends, but it's like, I've already made the decision. I've already released you from my life and I know it's the right decision for me. Show me hopes and fears. Four of Wands. That's what was at the bottom of the deck when the King of Swords came out in your recent past. It's that um, it was tied to what I was picking up on as an ultimatum that was given. Like, okay, we can try this if you reach this benchmark. Part of you is still holding out hope that they reach the benchmark. I think that is a signal that you're still kind of holding on to that, okay, if they show me evidence that they've released whatever this devil is representing, could be an addiction, could be a bad habit, could be... Well, it really could be a, a myriad of different things. You'll know what this bad behavior or bad tendency or bad pattern is. And I think it's mainly them, but you're very tied to it because to a certain extent, you've been permitting it to continue because you love them. You're still holding out hope that they're going to turn things around. And I think that hope is tied to well, if they show me they've changed, then maybe things can be different. Show me the end result for Sagittarius. How will these energies resolve? Mm. Five of Swords. I don't think it's going to be a, a storybook, um, a storybook breakup. Like it, it, it's not going to go super smoothly. When you finally head off on your own with this fool energy, um, I think that's when the knives come out, metaphorically speaking. I think um, someone's going to turn up their viciousness and in an attempt to try and keep your energy connected to them, they're going to start being more harsh with you, try to hurt you as bait to try and get you your attention back on them. So watch out for that. Your advice, be mindful of where you invest yourself. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Not every field is a fertile field. If you're investing your time and attention and potentially money into a person that is squandering it, is not um, investing in you, if it's a very one-sided situation, then that doesn't represent the blending sort of relationship that you could have. Temperance here at the bottom of the deck is a reminder that love can flow very easily between two people. It can be a, a healing, supportive, give and take, very synergistic relationship. And I think what you're experiencing now is quite one-sided. So be mindful of that and make your decisions accordingly. Sagittarius, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye. All right, Capricorn, it's your turn. Let's see what's going on with my Capricorns. Heart of your reading, we have the Four of Wands reversed. Reevaluating a goal, the, the next goal that you have in mind for yourself. 
The challenge is the Page of Cups. I feel like the Page of Cups represents someone near and dear to you. I think that you are wanting to make more time for someone. And that's why we have you backing off of a goal. I think you'd been going uh, very hard toward achieving, achieving, achieving at the cost of spending time with someone that loves you a lot. And that's why you've, um, it's like you've canceled a big meeting or you've postponed a deadline. Like saying, okay, I was going to wrap up this, this work by the end of the week, but you know what? I'm going to take the next couple of days off and I'm going to spend time with you. And then I'll go back to what I was working on. We can finish that at the end of next week. Something like that. I'm picking it up as a daughter energy, but it's not necessarily a daughter in your sense or in your situation. Um, possibly a son or a daughter, possibly, possibly a partner. Your focus is on the Queen of Swords. I think you're seeing what's not being said. I think this, whomever this person is in your situation, they haven't complained. They haven't out, uh, out and out said, I'm disappointed in not being able to spend time with you, but you can read it on their face. You can see it in what's not being said. Like there's, there's, they're no longer asking you and that absence of asking is, is worrying you, something like that. Like no longer asking to spend time with you. Show me the recent past. What led up to this for Capricorn? Nine of Pentacles reversed. Being overly focused on money, gaining money, gaining income. Nine of Pentacles reversed is like, it's never enough. It's like you attain a certain goal and then immediately you're like, well, if I attained this, I'm going to push for more. Grow, 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 more, more, more. The energy of the environment is this, the Three of Cups reversed. This is a lack of spending um, just fun time with the people you care about. It, not for any deeper purpose than just to enjoy one another's company. And the reversal is what spirit wants you to bring into your awareness is that there are people who want to enjoy spending time with you and they're not experiencing that. And neither are you, by the way. You're not benefiting from their company either. People who love you, people who care about you. In the near future, we have the King of Cups reversed, putting everything else on pause and doing something that you love. Your surprise energy is going to be a big win. The Six of Wands, um, it's like surprising your daughter by saying, you know what, I told you I was gonna be busy with work for the next two weeks, but pack your bag, we're going to Disney World. It's like, I don't even know if that's possible right now. I, I'm not sure what's open or what, what would make sense to go do in that regard. But um, this has like, they're gonna be overjoyed and they're gonna be so just like, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love this. Just like lavishing you with, with praise and appreciation. Your hopes and fears, we have the Eight of Cups. If we are talking about a child here, um, 
this is the sense that at some point they're like they're with you now they're with you and in your eight of cups situation now however at some point they're going to go off in pursuit of their own emotional fulfillment meaning they're not going to be in your environment forever that's part of what you're trying to balance now The end result, we have the Seven of Cups reversed. Your emotional priorities had been out of whack and confusing in the past. Um, you were going after things based on um, other desires. Um, a desire for recognition, a desire for fame, a desire for um, power, a desire for money. These are all represented in the various cups of the Seven of Cups. The reversal means you've recentered your emotional guidance system toward love, doing things for love. Your advice is the Hierophant in reverse. We could be talking about standing up to power like if you work for a job that is demanding your 100 percent commitment of like the majority of your time that could be saying okay this thing that seems to be so powerful and an immovable force in your life to de-emphasize the power that it has over you it can also mean recognize the potential for losing things that you expect to be permanent in your life like a partner like the love of a child like the longer things go on when when an emotional expectation is not met the expectation goes away and you can't just reconnect with that at any point this is like recognize that things mm, I don't know how else they want me to say this. It, it's not, don't take anything for granted. Capricorn, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you back tomorrow. All right, Aqua, let's see what's going on with my Aquarians today. At the heart of your reading, we have the Wheel of Fortune reversed and the Emperor. Hmm. Is this Emperor Aquarius or is this someone standing in our way? Ten of Cups, Sun Reverse to clarify the Emperor tells me that this is needing to rise to the occasion in some sense. The Emperor is stepping into our own personal power. Okay. So Wheel of Fortune Reversed is talking about, are we ready to let go of the past and step into the future, reap the rewards that come with the um, completion, having learned the lesson and being able to level up? To start fresh on a journey toward our ideal emotional fulfillment. Do we feel powerful enough to go after that? Leveling up is like, it doesn't get higher than the Emperor in terms of the 3D world. There's no level beyond the Emperor. Your challenge is the magician, the magician in reverse. Well, with the lovers at the bottom of the deck, that tells me that you're hesitating manifesting what you want and you might want a relationship.
Show me Aquarius focus. What are we focused on? Eight of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, we're really focused on money, building up money. Not having enough, wanting more, wanting a change in how we earn money. But not knowing how to go about manifesting it. I suspect it has to do with the amount of control that's required, like, in order to um, claim this work, this job, that's going to lead to opportunities and emotional fulfillment. It's like we have to, we have to claim it, we have to step into the role of being in charge of that element of our lives. Show me the recent past. Page of Pentacles, being willing to learn something new. The, well, yeah, that is a big jump. If we've just recently been experiencing the energy of the Page of Pentacles, like, oh, wow, this is interesting and new. I'm super curious about it. Let me, let me try. Let me try is very different from, all right, now I'm an expert. Now I can lead others. Now I can rule an entire empire. You're like, wait, just yesterday, I was an apprentice. Show me the energy of the environment. How is spirit using Aquarius's environment to nudge us in the right direction? Ace of Cups reversed. Turn your cup inward, focus on your own emotional needs, be your own emotional support system. You don't need anyone else to hold your hand through the valley of the sun to reach your emotional fulfillment. You can do it on your own. When the magician came out, it was connected to the lovers at the bottom of the deck. And I wonder if that means that partly we're tied to the idea that before we can pursue ideal emotional fulfillment, we must obtain a, a love partner. <laughs> like, first comes love, then comes happiness. And I feel like this is saying, no, you've got that backwards. First comes self-love, then comes happiness, then comes a successful relationship. Show me the near future for Aquarius. Knight of Swords. Okay, this is air energy. So we're going to be feeling in our element, in our comfort zone, intellectual. Um, it means that we're, we're going to be able, uh, we're going to come to an understanding and be able to move ahead, feeling like we have the truth on our side. Knight of Swords moves very quickly because they know what they're headed toward and they believe in it. For me, it's also t usually the Knight of Swords is tied to the energy of wanting to help others based on a belief that you have. So it's like, oh, I know and understand this thing. Let me hurry up and share it with the world because if they know and understand it, it will help them as well. Like believing that part of your mission in life is to share information or share knowledge. Your surprise energy is the Page of Cups. Hmm. Give me more on the Page of Cups. I feel like this is someone else. I don't feel like this is Aquarius energy. Knight of Pentacles reversed. So in some way, on the path toward building the life that we want, we're going to have to stop 
and refocus on something emotional. And I feel like it's an external force. I feel like it's someone else that we come across. Could be a Pisces. It could be that part of what we're working toward is helping others who feel stuck on their paths and they need to emotionally recenter. It would be the energy of, okay, having identified something about the heart space that helps you in, in manifesting And interestingly, now I feel like the Ace of Cups reversed is also talking about in the environment, people who aren't manifesting from their heart space. I hope this is making sense. <laughs> because I feel like this is saying your surprise is that you're going to be able to reach people who feel stuck, like they're not making progress toward their goals by helping them like get in touch with their inner child or helping them remember a dream they had when they were younger, or helping them um, you know, recenter on what's meaningful in what they're doing. Help, well, th this could come in so many different packages that it's, it's, it's challenging for me to describe. Um, this page of cups is coming through for me with the energy of helping someone remember what's important in life, helping people go after what they love and believe that it's possible again, the way that a child believes that anything is possible. You might be going into relationship counseling Or like this also has the vibe of like becoming a dating coach. Or like teaching adolescents good relationship skills of like how to approach dating for the first time. Show me hopes and fears for Aquarius. What are we hopeful for? High Priestess. Please let me stay in touch with my intuition and follow it. And the end result, we have the Two of Wands. This is knowing the path that you're about to walk because the destination is clear. You've come up with a clear cut plan for the next leg of your journey and you're about to embark upon it. Your advice, we have the Six of Cups in reverse and the world in reverse. Be careful about idealizing the past that you're putting behind you. Um, anytime the world comes up in reverse, especially connected to the Six of Cups energy, we're talking about this threshold that you have the opportunity to walk across being it's possible that it can be a fresh new start for you. However, when you have this old energy, no matter how uh, fond you were of the past, you can imprint that energy onto your next story and invite universe to allow it to play out potentially with different people, potentially with the same people, but it's like repeating a past story. So if that resonates for you, just take that opportunity to evaluate what am I carrying with me forward into the future based on idealizing the past. Aquarius, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you back tomorrow. And Pisces, it's your turn, Pisces. Let's see what's going on with you guys today. Wow. 
what is going on with my Pisceans. Ooh, the world energy to start off your reading. This threshold, this opportunity to for a, a fresh new start. Beginning a new chapter in life. What's the challenge here for Pisces? Three of Wands reversed. Mm. Okay, I'm going to clarify. Clarifying the world. We have the Nine of Pentacles. So it's um, a leveling up in terms of your earning potential. Being comfortable spending money. Being comfortable treating yourself. And then clarifying death, we have, uh, oh, sorry, clarifying the three of wands, we have death reversed. I see, I see. So there's something that you're still waiting for. Something that you've been hoping would arrive in your life. You've been manifesting it, so to speak. You've been waiting and hoping and expecting and open-hearted to this thing arriving. Well, what arrived in its place is an opportunity for a fresh start. The Three of Wands reversed, that waiting exists in the old chapter. And if you remain in that position, waiting for what you wanted from that old life, that old chapter, you could. You could stay there. The world always represents a choice. No one's going to push you across that threshold. However, I would argue that the world represents a better choice because it's a huge leveling up and it's expansive. It means you've, you've proved yourself to this point, to the universe, to have wrapped up that old cycle and you're ready for something new, something bigger, something better, something more. The challenge, however, is are you going to release it? Are you going to let that old life die away? Or are you going to remain in a waiting, uh, hopeful anticipation of that thing that you wanted, that you wanted still being on its way to you? There's a chance that you could receive what you've wanted, but it's what you wanted in the old story, and you wouldn't be able to do both. Does that make sense? Like if you're in the old story and you want to wait, wait for what's on its way to you, you could stay waiting and waiting and maybe it will arrive. You could, the, the window of opportunity to move across the threshold that the world represents is a limited window. I think what we're talking about here is waiting for someone else to level up with you because tied to the world energy is a very independent energy, the nine of pentacles. It's like, I can level up on my own, but maybe I want to wait for them. Maybe I don't want to take this opportunity. Maybe I want to wait for the person that's lagging behind. The, the, knight of, the knight of cups reversed is like, your focus is on this person that you love a lot that just isn't um, isn't on the same timetable as you are. And that's okay. Everyone is on their own timetable, but these things become challenges when you're in a relationship with someone and you know you're on a, a spiritual ascension path or just leveling up in your 3D life. Thing when you want growth, when you want change, if people aren't growing at the same rate, sometimes it necessitates leaving behind people that you love, and that is obviously a big challenge. In the recent past, we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed, tied to the Ten of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. Some sort of opportunity that you're hesitant to grasp because you're still holding out hope for ideal emotional fulfillment with your Knight of Cups. The energy of the environment, we have the Two of Swords reversed and the Queen of Cups reversed. Hesitating to make a decision that's in your own best emotional interest, taking care of your own emotional needs and prioritizing yourself. Your, what Spirit wants for you is to prioritize your own emotional needs. And 
it's a recognition from spirit that you feel hesitant to make the decision to do that. Two of Swords reversed. Show me the near future for Pisces. Okay. Hanged man reversed. You're going to get unstuck. You'll, you'll be very close to the situation, evaluating, evaluating it from every which way, every angle. Um, no stone unturned, trying to find every solution possible. Approaching your person in every way that you can think to do so. And then you're going to take the leap. It doesn't mean you'll be taking the leap alone necessarily, but with or without them, you're going to, in the near future, choose to move across the threshold that the world represents. Some big new start in life. Your surprise energy, we have the Nine of Swords reversed, the Five of Cups reversed, and the Eight of Swords reversed. You're going to be surprised at how lighter you feel once you take that leap of faith. You take the risk, you trust universe, you make the new start and you walk across the threshold to start your new story. And you're going to be freed up from fears, doubts, insecurities, any self-imposed limits that just weren't true. And you'll be able to process this loss faster than you think. Um, it, it'll be easier than you expect it to be. Show me hopes and fears for Pisces. Hmm. Page of Wands reversed. What if they don't want to join me? What if this thing that I really, really, really want to go do just doesn't light them up inside? It doesn't inspire them? They're not motivated to come with me. That's a possibility. I mean, it, it, it's, it's more rare for two people to be excited about a big change at the same time. Let's see the end result. Well, we have the Wheel of Fortune reversed and the Four of Pentacles. You might decide to stay in the old cycle and wait for your person, which is a valid choice. You don't have to take the opportunity the moment it's presented. You're allowed to choose. Um, and this tells me you're likely going to stay with what you know, um, what's providing the stability, or maybe you're providing the stability to your person or vice versa. It's the, the established way of doing your life. And then the Wheel of Fortune reversed is saying, all right, I'm going to wait for the wheel to turn around again. I'm going to stay where I'm at. And then I know this opportunity will come around again in the future or something just as good. I want to clarify, though, because that's at odds with the near future telling me that you are going to you're going to take the leap. And your advice is to accept an ending, even if it's painful, Ten of Swords, if it's in your own best interest to allow something to end. Let me clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Four of Wands. Oh, interesting. You might be able to delay or pr like, what's this? Uh-huh. Okay. Clarifying the Wheel of Fortune reversed and the Four of Pentacles, I got the Four of Wands and Magician reversed. So this is like moving the goalpost. It's like you're going to manifest um, hmm. Okay, let's say 
a possibility, one, one possibility of how this could manifest. You, you might want a new job opportunity to, pres to present itself. And your dream job is sitting in your lap. Are you going to take the dream job? Are you going to accept it? And you decide, you know, I can't pass up this opportunity. They're saying they need me to go by the end of the month. And your person is like, okay, well, that doesn't work for me. I'm not on board with that. You might be able to reach out to the employer and ask for some sort of like extension. Like, listen, I can't go by the end of the month, but would you still be interested in taking me on at the end of the year? If there's some sort of delay that your, your Knight of Cups, your person, would be on board with this soon, but not right away, I see that as a potential um, outcome here. Because you might be able to hold on to it and bring it with you over the threshold by delaying the timing, but still accomplishing the same goal. Through some manifestation manipulation of the energies. That's possible. But the advice is to be prepared to, to cut something loose. Be prepared to leave behind what's, what's holding you back from embracing this new opportunity. So use your discernment. Do what's best for you. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.